So when I was completing my training in Boston at Massachusetts General Hospital in Harvard uh, in the 80s, I had the opportunity to participate in a trial in which we treated patients with their own lymphocytes or white blood cells. And some of the patients with melanoma and kidney cancer had profound anti-tumor responses, but none of the lung cancer patients did. So while that was very important for those patients who responded, it was also important for me in deciding what I wanted to do when I set up my own lab. When I started at UCLA uh, 30 years ago, I started with the question of why lung cancer patients don't respond to boosting the immune system against lung cancer. And the very first organization to fund that work was the American Lung Association. The American Lung Association helped me and has helped others since then to be able to start their careers. The impact of that has been so profound and it's impossible for me to overstate the importance of having that initial funding to get started in what has become our work today.